Greetings, m squared here, and we are going to find f of g of x. Notice that we aren't given equations. We're given two um, relations. Remember, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So we're going to find f of g of x if it exists, because sometimes it doesn't exist when you have two uh, sets of um, ordered pairs. So the first thing we do is, remember, we kind of work from the inside out. So we're going to go to g of x. So we go to each x in g of x. So we go to 7, and we realize that when we put a x in, a 7 as an x, we get a 10 out. So then we go over to the f function and we look for a 10. There's no 10. So this does not exist. Okay, we're going to go to the next one, number 4. And 4 yields a negative 2. And over here, negative 2 yields a 9. So our answer is 9 for f of g of 4. So now we're going to find f of g of 9. So we go to the 9, we get a 0, we go to, that's an arrow, not a 7. We go to the 0 and we get a 4. So now we know that f of g of 9 is 4. And we've got to go through each x. So the next one is 1, which yields us a 5. We go to f and we get an 11 because f of 5 is 11. So we found that that one didn't exist, but we found the others. So over here, we're going to go backwards now. We're going to start with f and go to g. So some people like to just write down all the numbers, all the x's in that f of x, and then we will see if it exists over here. Okay, so 2 yields us a 7, and 7 yields us a 10 over here. So we know that g of f of 2 is 10. We go to the 5. 5 yields us an 11. There's no 11 over here, so it does not exist. 0 yields us a 4. 4 yields us a negative 2, so we know it's negative 2. The negative 2 yields us a 9, and 9 yields us a 0, so we know it's 0. So that's kind of how you do it. It's not too bad, but it's a little weird and confusing. So I recommend you write down all your x's and then just go through the steps kind of like I did. See if it works or not. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.